Welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man X2. Last time we defeated Mag uh, Magna Centipede. This time up is... Crystal Snail. I like the stage music here. Alright, let's see if we can get this heart take up first try. Ah, oh, got it. That one's really easy to mess up on because that robot ride armor has tricks you have to kind of keep it boosted like that, so. Here's the second time you get a robot ride armor I was talking about in the Wheel Gator stage. And. You actually get to use it for a while. Not very long, but a little bit longer. It actually has some uses for us. Alright, there we go. Now we can get up here. Nothing too spectacular up here, but... that. Ah! Keep missing. Platforming fail. There we go. Alright. It's time to beat one of those three mysterious mavericks. X, I shall crush you like a tin can. I'd like to see you try. If you have his weakness, he is so easy, you just stand there. Now you see the little bit, the reason why my order was a little unorthodox. Because I was trying to get all of these no, it cannot be. Now the unification is in jeopardy. You got zero part number two. So I wanted to get all their weaknesses. I don't like fighting those Mavericks without their weakness. Um, one of them is almost impossible to beat without his weakness. And that would be Surge's, because of the way he operates. Yeah, see, here's the furthest you could go with the robot ride armor, unfortunately. Another easy sub-boss. You just throw a bunch of wheel gator stuff at him. He dies pretty easily. Here we go. Making our way through here. Tackle my face again. Ow. Stop shooting me. Final armor piece. Mega Man X. Enter the capsule. This enhancement will modify your radar optics. It uses some energy, but with it, but with it you will be able to see objects that you could not see, no see normally. Good luck, Mega Man X. And that's it for Dr. Light on this one. And I completely flubbed that. See? Helmet's slightly more useful in this one. And it's really good if it's your, like, your first time through the game, because, you know, it shows you where all kinds of hidden things are, but since I've played this game, oh, I couldn't even tell you how many times. Whoops! Failed dash jump. I, I've played this game so many times, I couldn't even give you an accurate count. So, I know where, like, everything is, and because of that, the helmet piece is kind of useless to me now.
Alright. Now we won't be crushed by that thing. Ow. Stop tackling my face. And that's Crystal sna Snail Stage. Now, I learned a little nifty trick from watching speedrunners. I never knew you could do this. And it'll probably get me in trouble, though. Just knowing how many... My track record of trying to do speedrun maneuvers. You can move the shell... Oops, I missed. Got me there. Ow. You can move the shell if you can if you keep dashing into it. I never knew you could do that. And while that's fun, I, th I think it's actually hurting me more. Uh, uh. I'm trying to keep it away from him. Oh. Oh! I wasn't paying attention. <clears throat> that was fun. <laughs> Fun failure there. Well, let's try that again without the fail. Shell away from the snail. Oh. Ow. All right. We'll be smart and use an energy tank this time. Gotcha. Okay. Fooling around with the shell is fine but hardly conducive to an energy-saving strategy. Six down. Two to go. You got... Crystal Hunter! That is Crystal Snail. Up next is Flame Stag. We'll see you then. <laughs>